Hello. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add detailed views to your drawing and how to create different profiles for your detailed views. So, to add detailed view to your drawing, you click on this in the view layout, click on the detailed view, and it gives you this pencil. And if I just draw, click a point, and just draw my circle around, and, and I click again, now I have the detailed view that I want of this cylinder. So after my hey, my detail view hey, and I can you can rotate this around to get the view where you want, and you can also change this to um, broken um, with leader. With leader kind of gives you a line. With no leader, there is no line, and connected it connects the detail view from this view to that view, and per standard, it just leaves it this way. So that is one way to add detail views. So that is the default way SolidWorks add the detail views. So let's say I want to, I'm going to delete this view, this detail view, I'm just going to delete it. Um, let's say you want to add a detail view with a profile. You don't want, sometimes when you are adding the circle, the circle might get too big that it's getting to the area on your drawing where you don't want it. So to add a different profile of your diff detail view, so you come on your sketch, and I'm just going to kind of draw like a center, a box, something like this. Let's say I want a detail view of this view, so I can draw a box. So now once you've done the box, make sure that sketch is selected. And now if I click, go back to the view layout, and I click detail view, and you see SOLIDWORKS is adding it as default as the round per standard because that's how um, the standard calls to add it. But now you can change that profile to um, with leader. Any one of these you pick. See, if you pick per standard, you see the profile is grayed out. Broken, the profile is grayed out. But with leader, now you see the profile is visible. So now if I select that profile, the detail view actually turns to the box that I created. The profile of it turns to the box. And if you also select with no leader, it's the same. And connected, it's the same. So you can select the profile on that or that those preference. So that's how you create different profiles for your detail view. Um, let's say I want to create another profile. And I just draw something funny over here. Let's say I draw something like this spline. And I draw this spline going up like that. Not necessary that you may do this in a drawing, but sometimes you may have to get creative when you're working with a limited amount of space. So I have my profile, and I'm just going to go to detail view, and I'm just going to bring my detail view over here. Not that, not that you will walk out of the sheet, but I'm just showing you, and this is just an example just to show you the detail view, how it works. So I'm going to move this over here. I can move this over here. And, and let me just arrange this, move this out of the way somewhere, and I'll move this over here. And now, again, you click on your detail view, and down and if you select any of this prof any of this option it will allow you to select your profile so now you can have your detail view profile how you selected it so anyway that's how you make detail views and how you change the profile for the detail views to suit what you are trying to make in your, on your drawing thank you and i will see you in the next tutorial bye